Let's talk about Christians in Israel. I'm here in the Upper Galilee. I'm going to interview Shadi Halul, a Christian Maronite here in the Upper Galilee. He served as an officer in the Israel Defense Forces. It's gonna be amazing. Shadi, it's very good to see you here in the Galilee. Can you tell us a little bit what it's like to grow up as a Christian in Israel? I am a major in the paratroopers. I served in 1993 to 1998. And on those years, I led Jews, young Jews like me. I was in charge of them as a Christian and not they in charge of me. I was after becoming an officer, leading those Jews to different locations, to risky places, fighting together against this enemy in Lebanon and in other places where they tried to kill our civilians. And where is the apartheid in this thing? Absolutely. If I am a Christian minority, 2% in Israel, the mother, Jewish mothers, trusting me to lead their kids. And today I have a pre-military educational leadership program that I founded for Christian and Jews. I have in each draft 46 people. This is the New Testament in Aramaic, right? This is a New Testament in Arabic, in Aramaic. This is the gospel, the four gospels. And How old is this book? This book is in Aramaic Syriac language. It's the original language of Christians in the Middle East and their identity and culture too, which was preserved in our Syriac Aramaic churches in Antiochian churches. And it is, as you see, the language is a Syriac Aramaic. It has 22 letters, actually like Hebrew, same letters of Hebrew. I can tell you there's no better place for Christians to live in this Middle East more than Israel. Israel is the best place for Christians to live. They enjoy freedom. They enjoy a thriving uh, community. They enjoy the economy. They enjoy the order of law and the democratic values of this country that all other citizens enjoy it in the state of Israel. We're on the, almost on the border between Israel and Lebanon. What's the situation like for Christians just a few miles away on the other side of the border because they are your <laughs> brothers and sisters yes. because you are Maronites. Yes. Your, the Maronite Christians originate in this area predominantly in Lebanon. Yes, that's true. That's true. We are here in uh, Jish, but our neighbors from the other side of the Israeli-Lebanese border are three. There are three Christian Maronite towns. One is Ermesh, Dibel, Enibel, and Kozah. And all of them are surrounded today by terrorists who belong to Hezbollah that controlling all the southern Lebanese area and actually imposing on them actually to fight with them in, against Israel while they don't want to be intervening in this war. And they threaten them if they don't allow those terrorists to fire rockets to Israeli communities here in the north, they will revenge that by treating them badly inside Lebanon and by prosecuting them in different ways. So this type of oppression, that's what they live, our brothers and sisters inside Lebanon, while here in Israel, we enjoy the freedom and security of the state of Israel. Now, what can be done? I can just ask the word and take this opportunity to ask the Christians all over the world and the Western world to watch out closely what's happening for Christians in Lebanon because it was used to be a Christian dominated country and it was very prosperous, thriving country, yeah. successful one, Switzerland of the Middle East exactly. under Christian Maronite control, while now under Islamic radical Shia control of Iranian proxy Hezbollah, it is a failure country, bankrupt country, and there's no value for human being in that country. Uh, Shadi, you, you know it, in Gaza, they say that there are around 800 Christians. There are three churches, although I don't know how free the Christians are to practice their faith, because if you're a true Christian, so you have to love the Jewish people, 
whereas Hamas is working to destroy the Jewish nation. But my question to you is that they say, use it for propaganda and saying that Israeli military is sniping Christians at the church, targeting the church. Now you served as an officer in the Israel Defense Forces. What is your response? Did you target Christians and Muslims during your military service? No, I didn't target anyone. I just behaved as a normal soldier fighting against terrorists, against terrorists who were fighting and killing civilians and trying to kill our civilians, Israeli civilians, and we go and target them. Those terrorists that behave in a radical jihadi Islamic way, they don't care about other citizens, neither even Muslim citizens of Gaza. Right, but then people will say, well, Shadi, of course you're saying these things because you're a Zionist. Look, let me tell you something. To be a Zionist is not a bad thing, first of all. But second, I'm saying that because I am first a Christian and I care for my community. And if my community is oppressed in Gaza, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Iraq, by all those radical jihadi groups, ISIS, Jabhat Nusra, Hamas, Hezbollah, and Kataib Hezbollah, Fatimiyun, Zunaybiyun, all those names, different radical Islamic jihadi groups, for me all are the same. They have same ideology of for non-Muslims treating non-Muslims in a bad second citizens way as you see it. That's the apartheid. The absolutely, world. absolutely. As as Shadi said, the you know Zionism simply means the Jews have the right to exist in their ancestral homeland. Um, so I have to say, Shadi, thank you very much for your words. May the truth go forth. Uh, I ask you to share this video because truth is a rare ingredient. And people must know that Christians in Israel are the freest Christians in the whole Middle East. Thank you very much, Shadi. You're welcome. Thank you.